In this next topic, we're going to be looking at the network interface cards and the modem. So what we're doing is we're going to be looking at the hardware that's actually going to be taking the data from the computer and putting it on the network media to transfer over to the other, uh, to the receiving computer. What I'm going to do is show you how to install a NIC card, network interface card. Now let's take a look at the NIC card really quickly. So you can see the NIC card right here. You see all the electronic components. Over here is where you're going to be inserting the NIC into the motherboard itself. And you can see the slots where it's going to go into. Now if you take a look here, here is the RJ45. Uh, this is where the RJ45 port, that's where the RJ45 connector is going to be going to. And then once the, uh, once the network card is installed and configured, you're going to see these lights here. And these lights are going to tell you that you have power going to the NIC card and that you have data communication happening, meaning when you see uh, the light flashing, you're then going to have data coming in and out. So that's how you can tell if your NIC card is communicating. So let's now open up our computer case and take a look at the inside of the motherboard. Now, uh, every computer case is going to be a little bit different to open up. This particular computer case ha is, doesn't require any tools. And there's basically a lever that you can just pull and pop off, and you can just pop off the side. Some computer cases, however, require you to have the little, uh, the little screwdriver to take off the screws and slide it off. So here you have our motherboard. And this is the top of the motherboard. You can see that we have the power cable here. We have the slots for memory. And what we have here is the graphics card. And you also have a stabilization bar that's going to keep all the cards that are in the expansion slots together. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to lower the stabilization bar. Now, once again, not all cases utilize stabilization bars. Many times that you'll just have to uh, unscrew the card from that point in the case. And what I'm going to do, just so you can see a little bit better, I'm going to remove the uh, video card. Now, once again, to install the NIC card, you don't need to do this, but I'm just doing this so you can see a little bit better. going to put this to the side for right now. And just in case you haven't seen a video card, this is what it looks like. You have the, uh, you have the slots to put in the video. This is actually for a digital video. This is for analog. So I'm just going to put that to the side. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to insert the uh, NIC card into the motherboard. And we're just going to put it in the expansion slot. And these slots have numbers. We're actually going to be putting this into slot 3. And it's very simple to do. You're just going to be matching up the, the grooves on the NIC card with the grooves that are in the expansion slot. So you want to make sure that this section of the groove goes into that section of the expansion slot. And you want to just make sure it's tightly in there. And now that that's all that's, that's already in now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, video card back and I'm going to close the case back up. Okay, the video card's in nice and tight. Uh, my NIC card's in nice and tight. Now whenever you're dealing with components, you really should be wearing an anti-static strap on your wrist. And that's going to prevent the, uh, the boards, the circuit boards that you're playing with, from being damaged by any kind of, of electromagnetic discharge. Uh, I'm not currently not wearing it right now because it's going to interfere with the microphone. So I'm just going to leave that off. But whenever you're, whenever you're doing anything with any of these cards, you should always be wearing an anti-static uh, anti, uh, static strap. So to make sure that the cards are locked in uh, nice and tight, I'm going to close this section. And now the cards are in there nice and tight. I can now close off the box and plug this back in.
and there we have an installed NIC card. What we're going to do now is learn how to remove a network interface card or a NIC card. Now, the reason why you may need to remove it is because apparently, you know, every once in a while the NIC cards go bad or you may want to upgrade. For example, let's say that this NIC card here is either a 10 uh, megabit per second or 100 megabit per second and you wanted to upgrade that to a gigabit per second card. Now, right now the NIC card is uh, locked in fully into the expansion slots and this particular machine has two expansion slots available to it. Over here is the PCI Express slot that's used for the uh, that's used for the video card. I just simply removed that just so you can have a better view of the NIC card. But normally, if just to remove the NIC card, I wouldn't even have to move that. And here are the expansion expansion slots. Uh, you can also uh, input additional kinds of cards into these expansion slots, uh, such as you may you can put in additional USB. Uh, cards that will give you more USB ports on your machine or you can also put in an audio card. So once again the NIC card is securely in there so what I have to do is I have to make sure that it's uh, ready to come out so I, I uh, open up the clasp that's holding it in tight once again you may have to uh, unscrew uh, the screw that's holding it in there tight and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab the NIC card in a place where uh, the electronics are not uh, available because what you don't want to grab them by these little aspects right here, what, these little conductors right there uh, because if you break them off you're going to have a problem. So you want to grasp the card where there's nothing there and just lightly pull it up. Now once again as you're doing this you really should be wearing uh, your anti-static strap just to protect the NIC card. Now all the other components are going to be coming with a anti-static bag and you want to make sure you hang on to those bags because you may want to, like if this is still a good component, this hasn't failed, you just wanted to upgrade and you want to store this for later on, you want to store that into that anti-static bag. Also, NIC cards, this type of NIC card is not hot swappable. You want to make sure that the computer is uh, shut off and you want to make sure it's unplugged. Hot swappable means that you're able to leave the computer on while you're uh, changing out the components such as a USB, uh, USB drive or a USB component. Uh, something that's going to the expansion slot, the computer has to be turned off. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace the video card. And once again, just want to just want to insert it firmly but gently. You want to make sure that you do not uh, force any of these components in there. So what we had done here is we showed you how to remove a NIC card from the motherboard.